My name is Jonathan Wald and I'm here to do my uh, head to toe uh, physical assessment. Um, how are you? I'm going to wash my hands. Um, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. So just by her telling me that she's doing well, I can tell that she's alert and awake. Um, now I'm going to test her orientation. So can you tell me where you're at right now? I'm at home on hospice. Okay. Can you tell me um, what year it is? 2018. Okay, good. Can you tell me um, uh, your name? Lauren. Okay. Is it okay if I call you Lauren? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is a head to toe assessment on you. I'm going to be looking at all your different uh, systems. I'm going to do a neuro exam. I'm going to do a skin examination. Uh, do a lung examination. I'm going to do a spine. A musculoskeletal. We're basically we're going to be checking you out all over. If there's any point during this exam you don't feel comfortable, let me know. Um, and I'll also try to keep you covered the best I can throughout the process. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, before I get too far. I'm going to put a check your blood pressure. Do you have any concerns about the exam or anything I need to be aware of? Any no. pains anywhere? Okay. No. Let's slide this on your arm. Mm -hmm. I'm not be I'm in trouble with it. There we go. <laughs> okay, I am going to have to blow this up, so it's going to get a little bit tight. Okay. All right. Just relax for me. All right, so your blood pressure is 1 out of 5 over 50. That's normal. That one is. Um, so now I'm going to proceed to do the neurologic exam. Can you just look straight forward for me? Okay. Um, I'm just looking at her eyes. Her pupils are equal and they're round. Um, now I'm going to check and see if they accommodate. So keep focus on that. I'm going to put my finger in front of your face. And when I do, I want you to immediately look at my finger, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So her pupils are equal, round, and they also accommodated appropriately. I'm going to do, uh, see how they react to light. So I'm going to shine a bright light in your face, okay? Good. Good. All right, so pupils are equal around, react to the light, and they accommodate appropriately. So now I'm going to move on to your ear examination. Um, I'm going to have to shove this into your ear just a little ways. I'm not going to hurt you. Um, can I pull back your hair? Okay. I'm going to lift up and back on your ear here and look at your tympanic membrane. Okay, good. Okay, her ears look good. There's no redness or drainage or anything like that in her ears. Her tympanic membrane is a pearly gray color, which is normal. Um, she also has a positive light reflex in both ears, so um, that's that's doing well. The next, so I'm going to look into your mouth. Can you um, open your mouth for me? Okay. Can you lift up your tongue? Okay. Can you pull down your bottom lip? Okay. Good. So um, her oral, um, her oral examination, she has uh, moist mucous membranes. There's no dryness, cracking, no lesions. Um, it looks like they're pink. Um, like all of her, mem her mucous membranes are pink. Uh, no lesions and moist. Um, her condition looks good as well. Um, now we're going to proceed to the skin assessment. <laughs> um, we did okay so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now we're going to pre proceed to the skin assessment. I'm going to start by checking your skin, Turkis. I'm going to do a light pinch right under your clavicle, okay? Okay, she had a brisk uh, response to her skin, Turkis. Now, can you just hold your arms out for me? I'm just visually looking at her skin here. Um, now, lift them up. Okay, good. You can set them down. After visual inspection, I see your skin is pink. Um, there's no discoloration, no jaundice, no cyanosis, or um, pallor. Um, skin looks equal, no discolorations whatsoever, no lesions, anything like that. Um, now I'm going to um, check and use the back of my hands to filter dry. So it's warm and dry, both warm and dry. Okay, I'm going to lift under your hands here. So warm and dry, warm and dry. Good. So um, her uh, skin temperature is warm and uh, she's dry on both anterior and posterior aspects of her upper extremities. And I'm going to check for pulses, radial pulses. Um, She's got plus three radial pulses. Um, do you squeeze my hands? All right, so she's got uh, plus three hand grip, nice and strong. 
check cap refill now. Good cap refill, less than three seconds. Um, um, so that, that concludes that. Um, now I'm going to do uh, her lower extremities. Um, just visually looking at her legs, they look they look uh, no cyanosis, no jaundice, no lesions, no pallor. Um, skin looks nice and pink throughout. Um, can you lift up your legs for me? Okay, good. Lift up those. Good. So there's no lesions or no discoloration on the bottom of her legs as well. Um, so I'm going to fill her legs. So warm and dry, warm and dry. Now I'm going to fill the posterior aspect. I'm going to do both of them. So. <laughs> Warm and dry, warm and dry. Okay, there's no discoloration, um, equal equal skin temperature throughout. Now I'm gonna check for uh, edema. Um, I'm gonna hold for five seconds. One. Okay, and there's no edema present. Um, also, I'm gonna check for uh, pulses. Uh, pedal pulses. So she's got plus three pulses on her feet. Nice and strong. Um, check cap refill. Cap refill is less than three seconds. We'll check uh, plantar flexion and heart push down on the gas. Okay, now pull back. She's got good good uh, strength in her feet. So we'll give her a plus three on the dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Um, let's see. I guess we'll go on. You did okay? All right, everything's looking good. So now we're going to listen to her uh, lungs. Um, if you want to uh, sit up a little bit. Okay. And we'll, we'll have this prepared if we need to drape you. If you feel exposed at any point, let me know and we'll, we'll try to keep it covered. Okay. So I'm going to listen to your lungs in multiple uh, places. We're going to do the front and the back. Okay, we're going to start with your front. Um, just take a big deep breath in when I tell you to and exhale when I tell you to. Um, and uh, if you get dizzy during, during any point in this exam, let me know. Okay. We'll first start by listening above the clavicle. Big deep breath in, pull it out. Big deep breath in, pull it out. Okay, big deep breath in, pull it out. Big deep breath in, pull it out. Okay, in, out, in, out. Okay, in, out, in, out. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to listen to a few more places um, un by pulling your shirt up, okay? And we'll keep you dry the best we can. Okay. All right. So this side. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Last one. In. Um, so there, as far as her anterior lung sounds go, she's clear in all fields, no rails, uh, rock eye or wheezing present. Um, sounds good. And uh, I also just by looking at her, I can see there's no um, respiratory distress. She looks nice and relaxed. Another thing I need to mention is um, her um, anterior posterior diameter is less than half of her transverse yeah. diameter. Um, there's no in indication for COPD and no barrel chest or anything like that. Um, now if you don't mind, uh, I'd like you to stand up and I'm listening to your back and also do your spinal exam, okay? Okay. Alright, can you lift your shirt up? Alright, um, so I'm going to listen to you again just like I was doing earlier. Big deep breath in, blow it out. Big deep breath in, blow it out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Last one, two more. Okay, out. Okay, now I'm also going to just turn for me. I'm going to listen to your right side here. Okay. Take your breath in. Out. Good. Um, just stay like that for a second. So her um, her posterior breast sounds are good. Uh, no wheezing, rails, or wonkai. Uh, clear in all fields, including her right lateral uh, field there as well. So now we're going to move to her uh, spinal exam. 
Um, I'm first just going to visually inspect it. Um, I don't see any muscle spasms, no uh, irregularities as far as asymmetry in your back muscles. Um, you have any back pain? No. Okay, so no back pain. Um, now I'm just looking for deformity, so I'm going to ask her to bend over. Okay, stand back up. And as she bent over, I was looking for any kind of signs of lordosis, scoliosis, or kyphosis, and none of those are present. Nice straight spine. Um, now I'm going to palpate down her spine for her pair, pair of vertebral muscles. And uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to push real gently and let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Okay. Um, kind of lightly palpating the sides of her spine. And her muscles seem equal. They don't seem tense or anything like that. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, you mm -hmm. can... You can put your uh, shirt down now. Um, oh, one more thing I need to do is I need to do a um, excursion. Okay. While I have your shirt up, sorry for making you put your shirt back up, but also take a big deep breath in, blow it out. Good. So she has nice symmetrical uh, chest expansion, so I know both lungs are inflating equally. All right. Um, we're gonna conclude the exam by doing a, a cardiac exam and then finishing up. Uh, with the abdominal. So if you just want to lay back about 30 degrees for me for this, perfect. Um, keep it covered. Okay. Feeling okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry, I'm almost done messing with you. Okay. Um, so the cardiac exam is going to take a little bit of time. I have to put uh, stethoscope in a lot of different places. Um, I'm going to start listening to your heart. Just breathe normal throughout this process, okay? Okay. All right. First, I'm going to auscultate her heart. I'm going to listen to her um, right sternal. I'm going to set the script on the right sternal border of the second intercostal space. Now I'm going to listen to the left sternal border, second intercostal space. Now the third intercostal space, left sternal border. Fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. And then I will need to listen um, from my last place I need to listen to. If you don't mind pulling your gown or your, your shirt up there. That's good. Okay, and here is the the left, uh, the fifth intercostal space, left midclavicular line. This is uh, where I'm going to listen um, for my apical heart rate. Okay. All right, I'm going to listen for 30 seconds. All right, starting now. That was 30 seconds. Um, just keep your shirt up if you don't mind. That was 30 seconds. Um, I counted 35 beats in a matter of 30 seconds, so we're going to times that two, by two, and uh, her, her rate is going to be 70. Um, she has a nice regular rhythm with that as well. So now I'm going to flip my stethoscope over and listen with the other side. Okay. So fifth intercostal space, uh, left midclavicular line. Okay, good. Now I'm going to move up. Come back from the top. Um, left sternal border, fourth intercostal space. All right, left sternal border, third intercostal space. Now left sternal border, second intercostal space. And right sternal border, second intercostal space. All right. So, uh, so listening to her heart, um, she has a good S1, S2, no murmurs or gallops, no splitting. Um, her, rate was her rate was 70 in a regular rhythm, um, so her heart checks out. Um, also looking for her chest for any kind of rails or lifts. I don't see any rails or lifts, just by visual inspection. Um, I think that concludes our cardiac exam. Uh, now I'm going to look at your abdomen, and we'll be done. Just kind of lay a little bit more flatter. There you go. You're right. Um, before we get started, any abdominal tenderness or anything you need to know about? Okay. Um, first of all, I'm just going to look at her abdomen. I see she's got umbilicus. It's censored. Uh, there's no drainage or discharge. Um, I don't see any pulsations, palpitations, peristalsis, um, no lesions, no tubes coming out of it. 
Um, stomach's nice and flat. Uh, there's no discoloration. Um, the skin looks pink uh, throughout. Um, and you're you not having any pain today in your stomach? No pain no. today? Okay. So um, before I uh, palpate, I want to also say it, so I'm going to listen to your bowel sounds in all four quadrants. All right, so I'm going to listen to a left, or right lower quadrant. Right upper quadrant. Left upper quadrant. And left lower quadrant. Um, she has active bowel sounds um, in all four quadrants, so that's good. Now uh, I'm going to lightly touch your, your abdomen. Let me know if I'm, I'm hurting you, okay? Okay. I'm going to be real gentle using one hand. Okay. Nice and soft. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Palpate at all four quadrants. Any pain or tenderness? Mm -hmm. I didn't notice any guarding or any facial grimacing when I did that. So now I'm going to do a little bit deeper palpation. Um, and I'm going to do that now. Okay. A little bit more firm. Good. Any pain? Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so I palpated all four quadrants. Um, no pain, no tenderness, no guarding. I um, also didn't feel any masses or organ megaly um, or anything like that. No distension, so um, that's about it. Is there, uh, is there any questions for me? No. Nope. Alright. Well, that concludes our head-to-toe assessment. Thank you.